kind of hard to see, but it snowed last night. Look at those train tracks. It's, it's small. It's not a lot, but it's there. And that's what counts. Look, even the trains have snow on them. Oh my gosh. Things I never thought I'd see in the south. The Polar Express. I'm Madeline Monahan, but you can call me Maddie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2022. We made it through another year of nonsense and there's a cat who is about to no. We made it through 2021. Maybe not unscathed, but we made it. We're here, we're in a new year and new year means new year resolutions of which I have none. So 2021 held kind of a big slew of new things. For me. It had a lot of relocating and moving around and new things that I had to take time to get used to. So a lot of what I had established in the years prior when it came to my writing kind of went flying out the window and it took me a while to even figure out how to get it all back. For 2022, I have a list of goals and I'm gonna go through them. There's not a lot, so we're not gonna be here all day. I have a list of goals that I'm going to try and achieve throughout the year, and hopefully something I can then carry into 2023. Jeez, these years are getting weird. Gosh, 2022, 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22, kind of. So my biggest and most important goal for this year is to reestablish a writing routine. I had one, and I had a good one that I really, really enjoyed, and granted it involved me waking up at you know, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning every morning, but it was something that I enjoyed because I had a solid four to five hours before I had to be anywhere where I could knock my workout out of the way and then do some writing, get breakfast, like I had all the time in the world before I had to go off into the real world. I don't really have that now. And granted, a lot of it did sort of get thrown off because of the big move that we did. So I'm really hoping that I can somehow this year put together a new kind of writing routine where I'm still waking up in the morning and getting back into that feeling of maybe not at five o'clock though. I don't know, at 5 a.m. I've done the 5 a.m. writing experiments since and I'm just like, oh, maybe not that early anymore, but kind of early to where I still feel like I have enough time throughout my day to do other things before I have to go be an adult. Plus I also just need to carve out some time to do some writing because Lord knows I have a lot of projects that need to get finished, which segues into our next section which is all the stories that I have to finish, woo! Continuing on with my list of goals for 2022, I have a few major projects that I really, really wanna get done. And these are stories that I have either already started and are a few drafts into, or ones that I have a solid idea for that just need to get written. Also, if you can hear the cats running around, it is their zoomy time. So they are going to be zoom zoom zoomy all over the place. First on my list of goals for projects I need to finish, really need to finish, is my Hades Persephone novel. This darn thing has been sitting on the back burner for a little while now. And half of that is because every time I go back to it, something doesn't feel right. I don't know what it is, but there is something about this story where ever, whenever I return to it, something is off, something is weird. And when I go, try to go and fix it, it somehow turns into a whole new rewrite, which is not what I'm trying to do. So it's been a little bit frustrating because I can't really pinpoint what it is exactly has been wrong. Uh, I know like the tones of characters have been off, but there's, there's just something about it every time that just I'm like, that's not right, this doesn't feel right. So I've been kind of putting it off because I'm like, I don't want this to be a whole new rewrite. I don't want this to be rushed. I don't, I want this story to take its time. And gosh, but I haven't touched it in months. So I don't know 
<laughs> what it's gonna be like when I go back and look at it again. But my goal for 2022 is to finally get that done because it needs to get done. I think I'm already on like draft four, maybe, yeah, three or four. I actually can't remember. I just need it to get done. I need it to be finito and done and out the door and in somebody else's hands because Lord knows if I keep looking at it, things are gonna get changed and it's just going to turn into the Rise of Skywalker of books. Next on my list of projects that I need to finish is my Project Outlaw. And this one is actually a screenplay. This is my Western screenplay. And I did go back and look at it at the start of December and I remembered why I stopped writing it. Because the first part of it, I'm very proud of. <laughs> I'm very happy with how it turned out. And then we get to where about the middle, where Act 2 starts. And I can see where I started to run out of steam and out of ideas. And I'm like, ah, okay. <laughs> so that's what happened. So I need to go back and finish that. And kind of get that put together. Because that's another thing that I would like to see if I could turn it into something. I don't know, whether it be actual book form or selling it or this side or the other thing, whatever else you do with a screenplay. <laughs> I would just like to get it done because it is a story that I really enjoy and there are characters that I really enjoy and it's something that I actually think about constantly. I always think about that project and going back to it and working on it and hello children, that is something else that I need to get done is that screenplay, figuring out act two and knocking that out of the park. Last on the list of big projects that I really want to get done in 2022 is this duology project that I have started. <laughs> I know it's kind of silly to say I want to finish a project that I only just started planning, um, especially knowing me because I take forever to get anything done. There is something about Project Duo which is what I'm calling it because I'm not creative, it's just Project Duology, Project Duo, that I'm really excited about. It it's, takes place in the realm of fantasy, but it's, oh gosh, Brie told me what this, low, is it low fantasy? <laughs> Brie, if you ever watch this video, please do let me know what it's called. It's fantasy minus the magic. Uh, and there's a term for it, I can't remember what it is. But I'm really excited about it because what I want to do with it is I want to incorporate a lot of, um, I want to incorporate a lot of Irish lore mythology to it because I love Irish folklore. I love kind of the the, <laughs> the mystic Irish tales, and so that's kind of what I'm trying to like weave into this, just minus the magic. A lot of the names of the characters are kind of Irish. Everything's sort of based off of this, I don't know, what is my hand doing? Some like WandaVision stuff over here. But that's also something that I'm really excited for, is just I love the setting of it, and I love using Ireland, because Ireland is such a beautiful country, and I'm just very, honey, that's not a toy. I'm just really excited to write it, and I pretty much already have both books completely plotted out. I just would love to get it done. I would just love to go ahead and just write it, and at least get the first drafts of the two done. And honey, my mommy, you are causing so much trouble. Say hello, everybody. Look at that. Look at him striking a pose. He's like, I'm on camera. I'm in the lights. I am cat. Love me. It's not what he's thinking. He's thinking, I see a shiny jingly ball and I want to play. <laughs> so those are my big writing goals for 2022. And kind of stemming off of that, branching off of that. Other goal I have is just to read more. As you can see from this bookshelf behind me, <laughs> I have a lot of books. And um, m much, much to my husband's dismay, most of them have not been read. Uh, so <laughs> my goal for 2022 is to read more of these books and uh, justify buying more because I've read the ones that we have. <laughs> but there are a lot of books that I have on here that I keep eyeballing and I kind of go through these moods of like, sometimes I want to read YA fantasy, other times I want to read romance, sometimes I want to read contemporary, sometimes I want to read, you know, it, it goes back and forth. So I kind of have to be in the right mood for 
whichever book. I know I've got a thriller in here somewhere that I also really want to read. I actually think it was that one right there. I have not touched that one yet, so maybe I should read that next, actually. That might be a good idea. Maybe I'll read that one next. There you go. All right, already starting a TBR list. I like it. I like it. All right, well, let's just make a TBR list after this, shall we? And next on the list of goals is do more scrapbooking. Do more scrapbooking. Does that I don't even know if that's proper grammar anymore. Something that I've gotten into recently, in addition to journaling, and I guess scrap a scrap a thing, scrap booking. There we go. Scrapbooking and journaling kind of go hand in hand for me, or have come to go hand in hand for me. I like doing combined journals now. It's something I've discovered where I like doing bullet journals, but then like a certain section of pages or like every other page is a scrapbook page. So that's just been something that I've been having a lot of fun with recently and would love to continue on doing. Um, I've actually am in the midst of putting together a specific journal for Project Duo. That's been turning out really fun. Like I'm having so much fun with that. It's 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 actually kind of bad how obsessed I am with this journal, but I'm so far happy with how it's turning out considering it's like the first time I've ever really like scrapbook scrapbooks and that since I was probably like 11. I'd say it's turning out pretty good. <laughs> so I I have that to look forward to, I guess. But it's just a lot of fun and in a way it's almost kind of like therapeutic. It's it's a way of expressing creativity and I really have enjoyed that. It's really clicked with me. So I'm hoping that that is something that I continue and honestly I'm also just really excited to show y'all what it looks like. So that might have to be a whole separate video because I think it turned out really cool. It's probably a mess. It is a mess. What am I talking about? Of course it's a mess. It's me. I made it. It's a mess. But it's my mess and I'm actually kind of proud of it. Might have to show you all that later. Last one. Last on the list. Last on the list that I can think of at least at this moment in time. Not really the writing related portion of this, but one of my other goals for 2022 is to, I don't know why I said it like that, for 2022 is to get headshots, professional headshots done and submit to agencies. So I've talked about it a little bit before on my channel about how I have started taking acting classes and have been loving them. Oh my gosh, they are so much fun. I've met so many fun people, so many like-minded people, which is like crazy. <laughs> it's so nice to sit down and talk with them about movies, about actors, about just film in general and stuff like it's it's been great I am really really enjoying the acting classes but my acting teacher actually recommended to us five different agencies that we can take into consideration when we are submitting ourselves to an agency and those are the ones that she recommends are the best in our area so hello Sitka how are you baby I am enlisting the help of a very good friend of mine to do headshots for me hopefully this month hopefully and once I get the photos back I'm hoping to then submit to the agencies that my acting teacher has recommended for us so I don't know what will come of that I don't know if anything will come of that but honestly I think it will be a really good step for me just as a way of being put together you know <laughs> like honestly even if nothing comes out of it I think the fact that I at least took that step and took that leap would be a big deal for me. So I still think I'd be proud of myself no matter what the outcome of any of that would be. So I'm excited about that. I really hope that it happens. But again, if it doesn't, I'm still gonna be happy that I at least took that step and am then now familiar with the process of submitting to agencies. Those are my main big, big goals for 2022. There's not a whole heck of a lot. A lot of it has to do with writing, a little bit of reading, a little bit of acting and a little bit of scrapbooking. So it's kind of a little bit of everything. I think that most of them are doable. I just now have to get organized <laughs> and make a schedule so that I get it done. That is going to be the challenging bit. So I'm gonna have to start like actually using one of these planners or something. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your 2022, oh, oh my gosh, what 2020 are we in? 2022. Let me know what your 2022 goals are. <laughs> 
and what you're hoping to accomplish for the rest of the year. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more from me and from Sitka and Salem and Koa, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you all next time in another video. I need to stop ending my sentences, ending my videos with saying video, video. <laughs> I need to stop. Anywho, I will see you all next time. Bye.